In today's show, we're going to talk about sending email attachments with Power Apps. That's right, we're going to use an attachment to control and then turn that into a table of data so we can attach when we're sending emails out from Power Apps. So it's one of those things that comes up a lot more than you think it would, so I just thought we'd make a quick video here to talk you through it. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys, which are apparently on a different side now. I got new stickers, who knew? Anyway, in today's video, we're gonna talk about Power Apps and sending emails with attachments. So we've done some stuff with emailing attachments a long, long time ago, but those were kind of like one scenario. And so today I had a customer who approached me and said, hey, I wanna let users attach multiple files of their own. They might be Word, Excel, PowerPoints, they might be images, right? So we kind of have this mixed bag and I just don't know what they want to do. So I want to give them as much flexibility as possible when they attach the files. And then when they press the button in Power Apps, we want to send the email from them because we're going to add an item to the help desk system automatically based on who the email comes from. I was like, that sounds pretty cool. And as soon as we got it solved, I was like, the first next thought I had was, hey, I bet my viewers would like to see that. So we're going to dive in and look at that. And to do that, let's just switch over to my desktop. Over here on my desktop real quick, I want to give us a quick example of what this would look like. So right, this is the two, this is the Office 365 users loaded in a combo box so I can get the, uh, the email addresses. And so then the email subject, right, is a nice little input, email body, a multi-line input, and then we're gonna use the attachment control to uh, attach and remove files before we send off the email. So uh, we're not gonna mess with the two and the body and the subject too much. All we're really gonna do though is we're gonna start with a blank screen and assemble this puppy so that you can learn how to do the email attachments. Because I think we've covered all the other pieces first. So let's switch over to my other screen real quick. The first thing we're actually going to do in order to be able to send an email with attachments is we've got to get the attachment control. And so our friends at Microsoft have taken the attachment control away from us because it's not exactly what they wanted it to be in most contexts. So they, they removed it, but that's okay. We're, we're smart, right? We're, we got our hard hats on, safety vest. We're going to do something here with it anyway. And in order to get it though, what you need to do is you're gonna to have to go over here and add a SharePoint data source. So I'm gonna say view data sources, add a data source. I'm gonna hit SharePoint here, there we go. And all you need to do is add any SharePoint list uh, that you have. And all right, nothing about what we're gonna do needs SharePoint. So don't feel like this is a SharePoint solution. We're just using SharePoint as a shortcut to get to something. So we're gonna click on SharePoint and I'm just going to choose any old list. I one called access control, who cares? So we're gonna to connect to that list, okay? That's step one. Step two is we're going to insert a form right here, boop, an edit form. And we're gonna say your data source is that SharePoint list. When you do this, SharePoint automatically set, or Power Apps automatically set, here's all the columns, or here's some, and there's this great attachment control. This is the thing I want. So I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna say copy, and I'm gonna paste it outside of my form. It gets really big and weird, who cares? Now you can delete your form and, right, just remember so we're not confused, and we can go in here my data sources and get rid of that SharePoint data source, okay? Because we don't need it. We just needed it long enough to steal that control. And, but we do want to send an email, so we do need a data source for that. So we're going to do Office 365 Outlook because that's what we use to send emails, all right? So that's a fair data source, right? I thought so. And so now we're going to go over here. Whoop. And what do we want to do? So you can see I've got some errors. That's okay. We're going to fix those. And before I fix them, I'm going to go ahead and rename the control. And I've just been calling it attachment control, right? Very descriptive name. Boop. There we go. And so then we're going to click the little drop down here and say edit the formula bar. It's like, what color did I make the border? <laughs> That's an easy question. We're just going to make it black. Done. Okay. Oh, another error. Edit the formula bar. Oh, what should the display mode be? Well, the display mode should be display mode dot edit <sighs> another error no big deal items well we don't need an items property bye bye and one more maybe tooltip yeah we don't need a tooltip right now ah oh, there you go so now we have a happy attachments control and so what i want to do now is i'm going to hit play and i'm going to throw a file in there so i'm going to say attach file We'll go over here to my desktop and we'll grab a picture of Chewy and then we'll attach another file, right? We'll grab a, a PDF file. 
All right, so I've got both images and PDFs. And one of the great things about the attachment controls, we can have as many as we want. We can be like, oh, you know what? I really didn't want to have that picture of Chewy. No big deal. X out. And I really wanted this great picture of Chewy right here. There we go. Okay, so we've got some files in there. Boom. Now, part of the fun here is I want to make sure you understood how I figured this out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to throw a button on the screen. Doop, insert a button. And so in this button, what do I want to do? I'm going to say on select for this button, I'm going to clear collect, uh, collect attachments. And then I'm going to say, all right, well, attachment control, there you are. And then dot, oh look, there it is, dot attachments. So there was, you know, I just went through these and forged my attachments at the top, so I tried it. And thanks to the new preview feature in Power Apps, right, if I hover over it, it tells me it's a table, which means I can go on a collection. Perfect. So we'll do that. Oh, that is not what I meant to happen. Attachments, control, dot attachments. How about like that? So then now I'm going to hold down the Alt key and press the button. And the whole reason we're doing this is so I can go over here and say View Collections. And look, so this is now showing me what's in that collection. Right, so there's a name column which has the file name, and then a value column which has the blob stored. Right, and the blob is the, the file, the thing we want to send. So, good to know. So that, right, and the whole reason, right, we're just doing that so we can learn, right? So we know what's in there. So now let's create our button, insert a button. And so, oh, insert a button right here. And so this will be our send email. And so then in our send email button, boop, what are we going to do? We'll say office 365 dot send email v2. Remember, anytime you see a v2, I always use the v2s because they're the next gen. They're what's going to come. So just move on to those. So here's email two. We're just going to make it, right? Can we make the email sending real simple? So Shane at powerapps911.com. For the subject, we're just going to put in subject goes here, right? Subject goes here. So that way, you know, if you're not familiar with how these emails go, you can kind of follow along and fill in the blanks. And then for the body, body goes here. Okay. So that's your typical email, right? If we did that, we could now send an email with uh, to the person, Shane at Power Apps 911, with a subject and a body. Great. But remember when you're in Power Apps, up here in the top where it says send email v2 to subject body, comma, dot, dot, dot. Those ellipses there uh, mean that there is a optional set of parameters. So I'm gonna do a comma, and now it shows me the optional pieces. And it says, hey, do a curly bracket and attachments. And then that would be how you send a, you look at once a table value in there, but that if you put a table in there with the attachment, it'll send those attachments. Now, it's important to note though that it can't be just any old table. It's gotta be a table formatted the correct way. And so in a previous video, uh, which I will link to down below, I'll, I'll link to two videos, one on intro to email and one with the, uh, where I got this data from. But in that previous video, I went ahead and figured out what that structure looks like. So what I want to do is I'm going to throw a label on the screen. Whoop. And so in this, I will put it down here at the bottom. And so in this label, I'm going to paste, what is it expecting? So it wants, oh, we'll make it bigger, 24. Boom. So it wants a, um, in the attachments colon, it wants a table. It needs a name column, which will be the file name. It needs a content bytes column, which is the blob. And then it needs this OData type equals nothing. Eh, not going to overthink it. But so what we need to do now is we need to take and turn the output of this attachments into that. And so for that, we're going to use some of our data shaping functions. So the first thing we'll do is I'm going to put in here attachment control dot attachments, right? We could close the bracket and do this. And it's just mad, right? It's like, hey, you're missing col columns. And nothing works. Okay, that's fine. So the first thing we really want to do here then, I kind of put some spacing here so we got some little room, is we're going to rename columns. So the rename column is going to take, oh, let's make this a little bit bigger. It's going to take an existing column and it's going to rename it. So what is it, one of the existing columns? Well, Name matches, right? There's a name column here, and if we um, hover right here, we'd see that in that table, remember, there was a name column. Ooh, right? A little trick. Thanks, Power Apps team, for that. So there's a name column. So we don't need to rename the name column. It already matches. But 
we have a value column and they're expecting content bytes column. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, I want to rename value and I want to make it content bytes. So then that's just going to take the column. It's not going to change the data. It's just changing the name of the column and then we'll close that out. And so that's halfway or yeah, it's two thirds of the way there, right? So now we have a name column. We have a content bytes column, right? And one way to see that was we could just grab this rename columns and highlight it all. Look, content bytes and name. It's two. We need a third one, which is that OData type. So to do that, we're going to use, oh, not add, but add columns. So we're going to take, right, we took our table, which was attachments, uh, the attachments. We ran a table function to create, do rename columns, which made a table with different column names. Now we're going to use add columns on that table to add a third column. And so what are we going to do here? We're going to go to the end of this. We're going to do a comma. And what are we going to add? We're going to add the column. Um, it looks like OData type. And so to do that, we're going to put it in quotes and we're going to go at sign OData dot types, so just like it has down there. Then we're going to do a comma. And so then what expression, what value do we want to store in that column? And we're just going to store boop, boop double quotes like that. And then we're going to shift close around our friend, the um, parentheses. And so just like that now, right, if we hover in here and we, if we highlight everything from the beginning of add columns, to the end, you can see that there is a column with OData type that is blank content bytes, which has the blobs and name, which has the file names. Yeah. So now we will, Hold down the e button here. We'll press send email. Cross our fingers and I will go open my email one second. And so look at that. There's an email to me from me because I'm going to press the button. There is then an attachment, which is the flow test run PDF and the GIF. What, 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 what? Is that amazing or what? So look at that. Well, just a little bit of elbow grease, right? We had to, it was a little pain, right? We had to go steal this control. But once we did that, then we could send an email with one or more attachments based on what the user has, um, you know, attached to the file. We also, you know, probably would have added some code right here, maybe to do like a reset, uh, the attachment control. So then that way, you know, it would be blanked out. It wouldn't have the old attachments when they came back to it. You know, you can start to expand upon and add your other little tricks in here. You know, if you wanted to have a text input field to, you know, let them type in who they wanted to send it to or the subject of the body, these are all things that we've talked about in other videos. So you know how to do all those fun things. So really the real, the new lesson here was uh, just about attaching. So and that's all I've got for today, right? I thought this was just a quick, easy, fun little win for us to make a little bit better of an app. Um, as always, if you have any questions, you know where to get me, right? At Power, Shane at PowerApps911. You can tweet me, you can leave comments. You guys love to leave comments and I usually respond. I'm usually about a week behind, I'm not gonna lie, but I usually respond. Um, and then also make sure you're at powerapps911.com slash training. You're checking out some of our new training classes that we're rolling out. We've got a couple out there now and we're rolling out more and more. So if you want some more formal training and spend time more with me, then you can do that. But on that note, it is Friday afternoon. It is time for me to go to the pool with me and my kids. So thanks and have a great day. Hey, it's me again. If you got a second, click the subscribe button. That always keeps me making more videos. Or if you want to work together, need some help getting your Power Apps going, hit me up at Power Apps 911. Always happy to work together. Or finally, if you're really just looking for more videos, that's probably what it is, check out the Power Apps playlist over here and you know, enjoy that. All right, thanks and have a great day.